man. You know, Suge Knight has a podcast, and I can't lie, I listen to it every single week when he drops it, and he's dropping some of his truths, and others are disagreeing with it, but, you know, it is what it is. It's entertaining either way, but Suge said something that stood out to me. He said that he respected Jerry Heller because Jerry wouldn't necessarily just send the lawyers your way. He would send his goons your way. He would fight fire with fire. If you had a gangster, he had a bigger gangster for you. But, you know, what, what do you think about that, uh, that comment? True. True. See, but the different kind of, is he, them goons that Jerry's sending, you might not see him coming. That's the part. That's the part that, that, that changed the game, Doc. They're not just, you know, they're not going to drive by you by my house. He might be at the grocery store. It might be the goddamn cashier or some shit. Put one in your, put a hot one in your ass. We're not talking about, we're talking about folks that get shit done for real. Okay. And I mean, I'm not saying other cats don't. I'm just saying the methods that they would use, you know, like you, I was watching a, 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 a power, a, was it power book with the Saturday and a homeboy, Came off as he went and got him a post, got him a postal truck and a suit and a whole nine yards, and ran up on uh, one of the, one of the mafia cats at, in a postal in a, wearing a postman's outfit, postman postal uniform. That's the kind of stuff we, we're not talking about. Cats with some with some pants and sag got a hold of his pants up and run past the dude. No, 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 no. We're talking about some sophistication, and you might not know you got until it's over with. Hmm. Yeah, we've had Mike Klein on our show. And if you check out any interview on this channel, I would highly suggest Mike Klein and our interview with Animal. They were two of Ruthless Record Security. Mike Klein was part of the Israeli Defense League. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And uh, Animal is just big old dude. He was actually at the, uh, at the Easy e celebration. I didn't get a chance to meet him, but I did see him from afar. But uh, that being said, Lonzo, you know, we've talked about Mike Klein, but it's been a while, man. Tell us what kind of dude Mike Klein was in person, because we're probably one of the only people on this channel that has an interview with him on YouTube. He's cool as ice, man. He's cool as ice. He, he, I always, if you ever remember watching, uh, damn it, the show with my girl, uh, Carrie Washington, when she was sleeping with the president, she reminded me of homeboy from uh, M6 or whatever. Yeah, homeboy from M6, Jake. Um, what was that show called? Man, help me out, y'all. Cash. Uh, know what you're talking about? It took place in Washington D.C. Yeah, yeah. About, Jerry uh, Washington yeah, was the president, and uh, keep, keep talking. I got you. So, yeah. or, and uh, it was or a dude, someone else. It, mine. it was a dude in the show, slim dude. You know, about six foot tall. Uh, looked like a regular dude. And uh, scandal. Thank you, thank you, Isaiah Edwards. Scandal. Yes. Uh, you beat me to yeah. it. Thank you, and, Isaiah. Uh, he remind he always remind me. And after I saw Scandal, I immediately thought about Mike Klein. Laid back, no big deal. But if, you know, if you need something, it can happen. You know. Did uh, one thing we did here is that Easy E really didn't like to roll with security. You would almost have to force it on him. Whenever Easy came to your house, was it safe to say he was mostly usually by himself? Easy would come to my house all the time by himself. I see you, Marlon. Thank you, Marlon love Cozy. You, Much love, Playboy. And your T-shirt is coming. Your T-shirt just got here today, man. So I'm sending it out to you tomorrow. Probably Thursday, to be honest with you. I got to package them all up. But yeah, I got to get my son to wrap them up. Yeah, the T-shirts are available. And when I'm thinking about it, I will do a plug. We got more Easy Street T-shirts in at 25 plus shipping. Uh, shipping going to be about five bucks, but there's some dope T-shirts. Um, and uh, I'm going to see if I can find a picture to put up. But yeah, Martin got one. He already got his on the way. And we just got some side, some fresh sizes in. We sold out that day at the uh, at the event. And we just got some more today. So anyway, what was your question again, Dusty? I'm sorry. When Easy came over your house, was usually by himself? Oh, yeah. A lot of, most of the time, man. Most of the fact, I, man, I felt so bad. I was um, at Easy Street event, man. And Jake was there, one of his Samoan bodyguards. Man, he would meet, he would, um, Damn, these guys, um, uh, Jake and John, Jake and John, two twin Samoan bodyguards. And they lived, I think they lived in Carson, the Torrance, I'm not sure. But Easy would go do his dirt and then come to my house and wait for them. They go take care of business from here. That's, that, that's how comfortable he was because he knew where I, where I live at. That's not he 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 won't get a lot of fanfare. 
it's not really secluded, but it's, it's not gated, but it's not an active community where you see people, you know, out on a small street and it's, uh, he felt comfortable here. So yeah, he rolled, he rolled with security, without security on a regular basis. And a lot of times if he rolled, they'd be following him in their car. Okay. Was he a, I guess I'll just ask it directly. Was he a weed smoker? Did he smoke joints or anything like that? Like, did he drink 40s? You know, I know he always carried a 40, but did he really drink it or was it part of his, quote, costume or whatever? Man, I never saw none of them cats drink back in the day. You know, weed wasn't even around my house, dude. Weed and alcohol was not around here at all. Back then, that's when the weed had just went to like $20 for the little little small ass sacks. Chronic BS. Yeah, that chronic shit. Now, first of all, I, I, I ain't gonna sit there and tell you what I didn't do, but I damn sure wouldn't get $20 for that little small ass sack of weed. I wasn't doing that. How do you do that? It's, you, it's, when you grew up on four finger dimes, two finger nickels, all of a sudden you tell me, this right here is $20? Man, I ain't gonna, I, I, I'll, I'll buy me a beer, shit, or smoke a cigar or something. I might give you that. And that was the era. And the, the transition didn't work for me at all. I was not, I mean, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. And nobody around here cared about it. Yellow never, yellow never smoked. Dre never smoked in my presence. Presence. I never seen Easy smoke in my presence. And what they did at Studio or at Rufus Records, I, I can't speak on. But in my presence, at my house, alcohol was not a factor in doing that era. Now, when I got to the sound control mob, them motherfuckers just drank it. Mike T, Big Slip, uh, Contest Most Wanted, all of them, all of them. My, when I put my trash can out, all you heard was bottles clinging. Ain't no bullshit. Forties, uh, Hennessy, E and J. Depending on, depending on how the money ran. If they had money, it was gonna be Hennessy. If they had broke, there's E and J. Willie Mo, I see you, baby. Willie Mo, OG Steve, all you guys, man. Love you guys. Love you guys. I got your questions, too. Let's keep them coming. Um, let's get to the questions since they did donate. Um, Marlon Cozy wants to know what your reaction was to Uncle Luke, Dis, and Dre. I, before you like, go, I was all into it. I, I was dead into hip-hop at that time, so I was really into both sides and everything, but I didn't know till years later that shit got really, really, really real. Like, they got touched up in Miami. Like, they couldn't set foot in Miami, being and Dre in this camp over Dis and Luke and stuff like that. I think they met up at, like, the, the Freak Nick or something, but I don't know. What, what do you remember about that time when Luke and Dre were going at it? I made $2,500. Wait, what? I made oh, yeah, 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 duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Well, no, no, no. That wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't, I'm 